to uh, my video on uh, today we are going to be talking about how to use ChatGPT to do humanization directly I uh, so for some times we've been talking about uh, prompt engineering and I realized some people are having problem even when I do it for them they're having problem with the application so we decided to build uh, using GPTS directly on uh, ChatGPT you can I'll send the link the link is there but I'm gonna drop it you can use the link uh, now uh, you, you know if you're into academic uh, academic uh, research or academic field you realize that uh, you can actually use AI in its raw state you need to have need to give a touch of human to it to be accepted as an academic work and uh, we took our time to do this zero AI detector if you use generic humanization uh, humanization tool or humanizing tool out there in the market you find at the end of the day it doesn't have the academic tone it drops a whole lot of your technical words are you getting those technical words that actually those in every field has a tone just like for instance musician they have their own tone in terms of writing their music script uh, uh, the, those in the legal profession they have their own tone you can't just write as if you're a businessman those in the business world they have their tone in the medical world they have their tone you cannot just give a generic blog writing or article writing and they are they will accept it they can accept it the same thing applies to the academic field if you're a student you're a researcher you're a lecturer you're doing your msc or a, P, a phd or as the case may be uh, you can't just write anything and submit and it will be accepted no academic research writing or academic writing has its own tone and you must abide with it some people make the mistake of using generic tools to do humanization and at the end of the day it gets rejected because what those human uh, humanizing tool actually does is to write in the generic using the generic tone like a blogging tone uh, it is so unofficial and so many things so we did this this will actually humanize and preserve your academic terminology i get in me all true now this is it it's called the zero ai detector and i'm going to be dropping the link this is the link but it's long i'll be dropping the link at the end of this video you can go in and then use it it's excellent now let me advise you on one thing uh, once you start with this you, you paste okay you click here let me click it okay before i get to start let me get the i want to humanize this i'm going to i've been humanizing this is a, a, a live research project i'm doing for a client so i'm humanizing it now just this after this table i will humanize the next one so but let's test it so that you know i've not humanized it yet this is uh, originality let's test this first okay as you can see okay it's telling me it needs to be up to a certain number Get the next one and add so that it will give me yeah so let me add this one to it just quite small okay all right it's better now so and now run this this test you see this is 100 percent confident that it is AI 100% confident that it is AI so let me I'm going to humanize it now let me copy it out here so that I don't make mistake uh, this live I'm doing this live 
Sorry. Okay. All right. So that is it. Is the same thing here. Just I copied and paste, and it's showing me 100% confident that it is AI generated. So I'm going to use our AI uh, humanization tool to bypass that, or to rewrite that to become in, it to become human written. So I click here to start. Please, this humanizing tool is purely for research writing. You can use it for other people to do uh, because I'm a research consultant. I'm also a, a prompt engineer. I have my certifications from uh, Vanderbilt University in the US, okay, in prompt engineering advanced. All right, so you see, it actually asks you to paste this here and all that. So I now paste it and then I'm going to run it. Please, you are going to run this twice. The first one you, you, you we are running now, the first humanization we are doing now is called the preliminary uh, humanizing it's called messy academic draft style now i'm actually this is my word it's not the generic word as the person that developed this particular prompt is my word so you're gonna run this twice you see the first call give you mostly human like 11 percent uh i'm not going to adopt this i will test it with originality or uh, gpt zero or turn it in or anyone so i copy this i'll test it you you see that it is still uh it is still ai written but it's reducing that's the funny thing is reducing okay so let's paste it and check and can you see it's reducing now i'm gonna run this again by just typing yes let's go you see how i did it it's telling you the reason and all those things uh why it is uh it is flat as ai written so i'll type yes he said would you like me to push it further into zero to five percent i say yes okay and that level is called the raw messy uh, draft. Say yes. Now, it's going to write now. <clears throat> now, this one will definitely pass. Then, after you look at the, you look at the writing, look at the write up, you find out that it's aligned with academic write up. It still preserves your, it will still preserve your in-text citations and so many things so you can without you reading too much you it can fly so i take this here okay i'll paste it and then i'm gonna try this again can you see this is 100% confident that the text is human, written, and original. That's what we are talking about. Now, this works. It works. If you want me to humanize for you, I can humanize for you. If you want to use the, you can use the link below. Now, let's read it and go through and see. Teacher's demographics give, broadly speaking, okay, a picture that is quite balanced. Male and female educators scattered across social exactly it doesn't change the tone of the there is doesn't change the academic tone so i'm going to copy this and take it back and replace you see that i'll replace it okay i think this was it was Okay. I've replaced that. I'll replace the other paragraph. With the other paragraph. This is the other paragraph, I think so. 
So I'm going to replace this also. This was it. So this intuitive and interactive, I get it. We we also this is our most recent job. Sorry for the other videos. Uh, we've discontinued with so many of the products that we came up with. Uh, we needed something that people are already conversant with and people are using. So you see, like this, we are moving on this job now. And uh, if you want, I can show you the next one. Let me. We've been done with this paragraph. Oh, sorry. Let's go to the next paragraph. As you can see. Let me copy this. Copy this. It will be quite few. Let me delete this. Paste it there. And then I give space. I'll copy the next one. So it also preserves even your paragraphs. It's a, and even your your if you have bold text, all those things, it preserves everything. So I copy it here. Okay. Mm, I want to preserve. Okay, let, let's let's go ahead. But I, I needed to preserve the bold text. If I copy it directly like that, it to it to preserve it. Okay. Let me just get this. So I'm taking it straight here. Let's test this. This is still in its raw state. Okay, so we run a test. This is hundred percent confident that it is AI generated. Now I'm going to take this to the AI tool. I'll put it here. Okay, I'll run it. But I told you you are going to run it twice is very important the first one is the messy draft the second one will do the job so you can see humanize rewrite is rewriting now okay beautiful can you see that uh, bold i told you to preserve it now it will finish i can now see just type yes okay good it will run it again once it does once you finish with the first one you type yes it will run it again good and then this one will pass it will pass guys okay, all right guys all right so we'll copy it straight back take it to our originality let's paste it okay it's been pasted so let's test it and see can you see 94 percent I'm actually doing this because of who were arguing with me that it's not possible, it's not possible. I did it. And uh, I've been running, like if you go to some of my platforms, uh, I've been into prompt engineering right from when ChatGPT came up. I, at the advanced level, I've consulted for many organizations. And I own so many AI products, like my Word AI. At the point, it was one of the best AI research writing platform, research assistant platform in the world. Uh, we also have the AI help, uh, sorry, AI help team. It's a very robust uh, uh, chatbot that does uh, chat, uh, that does uh, customer service uh, support and uh, what I call social commerce. That means we did automatically. It can sell directly inside Facebook, WhatsApp, and uh, Instagram. 
So that product is 95% complete. We have a whole lot of other products for medicals and all that. But my major area is academics. I do a whole lot of academics. So in the academic field, we have uh, prompts we've developed for complete research writing. Some of you are already using it, but now we've made it more intuitive. We've, uh, we've upgraded that particular prompt and it's now directly on chat GPT, GPTS. You can use it. And then we also have uh, a direct prompt on GPTS for data analysis. It will do your chapter four and five accurately, plotting the graph, I get in me, doing tables, doing anything, patch anything. Now, and guess what? We know the formats because I say it again, this is my field. Academics is my field. So we are, we are aligning, we are creating intuitive tool for those in the academic field. So you can use this with confidence and go home and sleep knowing fully well that our work will work it out for you. Thank you.